Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to prevent separation anxiety uh, with your dog. So every time I leave the house, I give my dog a Kong. Now this is just like basically a toy, but it has an opening on the top and on the bottom. And it's useful for putting like a snack in here and giving it to your dog before you leave the house or as you're walking out to give them something to keep them busy so that they're not like crying as soon as you leave. And this is very good because it takes them a long time to be able to get everything out of the Kong because of, you know, it's obviously a hole and they have to lick and try to get this stuff out. So today I'm gonna show you what I usually do, um, what's, what I usually give to my dog when I'm about to leave. So here I just have some chopped up carrots and usually I honestly just only put yogurt, but I'm switching it up today because I saw a different recipe, so I wanted to try it out. And I'm also going to be using just plain yogurt. Just no flavor, 100% plain yogurt. You can't give your dog any type of yogurts with flavor, but you can also give them plain Greek yogurt or um, like cottage cheese. And a lot. Of, sometimes you can just put like peanut butter in here but I heard that peanut butter is really high in calories, so you shouldn't only put peanut butter. But what I do, though, is I put peanut butter on the end because the yogurt is very liquidy, and it will run right out if you were to just pour it in there. So you either put, like, a piece of dog food at the bottom, or you could have used one of these carrots, but um, there's already some peanut butter at the end of here. I'm going to go ahead and drop in a carrot, though, just in case. Well, actually, I'm going to go ahead and drop in all the carrots. So I'm going to put all these carrots in here. I don't want to fill it up, though, because you still want room for the yogurt. So that might be too much. Maybe like halfway or a little bit more. Let's see. It's like a little bit more than halfway. And then I'm just going to take this plain yogurt. I cut an at, a hole at the end of the bag. So I'm just going to squeeze it right in. Just like that. Until it's full. I'm going to set this aside. And then I'm just going to like top it with the rest of these carrots. And that's good because it's starting to overflow like that and then I'm gonna show you what I do after that I'm just gonna grab a plastic bag put this in a Ziploc plastic bag and put it in the freezer so that for like a couple hours at least but I usually leave it overnight but put it in the freezer for a couple of hours until it's completely frozen and that's when you want to give it to your dog because that's when it'll be completely hardened and it'll make it'll add on some time that it's going to take for them to get into everything so it'll keep them busy for longer so i'm going to put this in the freezer and then i'll get back to you guys once it's completely frozen and i'm about to leave all right guys so i completely forgot to film when i left the house but i'm back now i opened her cage up so she can come out and as you can see she's still in there enjoying her kong and she loves it um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you guys since I forgot to show when I actually gave it to her and left the house. I came back now. She did come out for a little bit and, um, cause I had bought her a, a ball, but she went right back in to finish her Kong. She is not playing no games. So yeah, that just shows you guys. The Kongs definitely work and it definitely keeps them busy. Um, I was only gone for like maybe an hour or less. I only went to Walmart, but she still hasn't finished it, so mission accomplished. I'll be your superman, and girl, I don't give a damn.